All right, so we're trying to finish the rest of these videos tonight since I have to go to work tomorrow. Um, just took kind of a break and allowed my arm to rest a little bit. Um, and also my parents came over for a, a visit. And so we went to the Olive Garden and we watched some YouTube videos. Um, I don't know if you guys watch them, but um, Equals 3 with that uh, Ray William Johnson guy. Those are pretty funny, and also showed and introduced my parents to Annoying Orange, you know, kind of silly sense of humor type videos, but that was kind of cool. And then, if I didn't already say it, we went to Olive Garden, and now I'm back, and uh, got through eight minutes of this video, and then it stopped. So hopefully this video will stick with me, and I won't have to do another retake because it's like ah oh, I think I do such a good job and then trying to remember what I said if anything but anyway let's try it um, so we have the Baroness here and this is um, kind of even though it says it's from the G.I. Joe cartoon series I believe she also had this look in a few of the um, issues of the Marvel comic in the very beginning um, so, two of those. I believe this is the one that Cobra Chris 31 is speaking of, um, because this is the black one, and originally Snake Eyes for the 25th came with Timber, I believe, or maybe he was carded by himself, but I do know that he was in more of a gray, so um, people were very happy when this was uh, released and he was all black. Um, so... Uh, two of those. Haven't opened them because I was okay with the gray one, so it doesn't really make sense to me to open the two. And even though this says it's from the JoJo comic, um, maybe the uh, colors are more accurate to the um, comic, but the one that came in the comic pack I think is much better. So if you don't own that one or you're thinking about getting... Um, them I would probably go with the comic pack one. Uh, but you got Dreadnought Ripper here, and maybe it's just because these came out in the same wave or at the same time as some of the Resolute figures um, that originally came out. So some people also see this as the Resolute Dreadnought Ripper. So two of those, and again, the other colors are so much better in my opinion, so no real reason to open these. Um... Then we'll go on to Lady J, and you know this is, in my opinion, pretty uh, card accurate. I mean, you don't get the camera with her; you just get the can't think of the javelin type thing there, and it's um, again card accurate, and um, yeah, it's just the cartoon though one. I think um, is more my favorite and then they released it and made it so much better um, and the, I think I've kind of made another LBC out of her I probably wouldn't remember now but that one I took the best painted head and then some of the different body parts to make her more appealing um, so no reason to open this one even though I probably do have one open somewhere um, because the cartoon um, G.I. Joe 5 pack one is more um, uh, to my liking. So um, then we've got Mutt here, and of course I uh, like it, and I'm sure some other people would like it as well. You know, you got the kind of joke, in my opinion, here. You've got um, the code names Mutt and Junkyard, and most people would think that this would be Junkyard right here, and the dog's name would be Mutt, but of course, um, nice little twist, the um, soldier, you know, uh, what canine officer here, his name is Mutt, so, and then the dog's name is Junkyard, so that's kind of funny, I think. Um, then we have Torpedo, which is probably the most reused in my opinion other than Cobra Commander of course um, but I think 
I'm very thankful that this mold existed and that Hasbro found a way to give us more of these figures and I guess one of the cost saving things even though I would never imagine it was by not molding um, all the figures items to onto the figure but you know having the accessories and little vest things because they can put that over any body and reuse it and but I think it adds you know more detail and more of a layered look to the figure so I'm so glad that uh, the person or the group of, um, you know, inventors, they found that way to be cost effective. So I think that's just so cool, which makes these, in my opinion, so much better. And I know it's not nice to say, but better than the uh, real American hero figures. Um, but anyway, so then we have uh, Scarlet here. And even though. It says, um, well, actually, we should show down here. Even though it says Scarlet, I can't think of her name right now, so if anyone wants to put this as a comment, I would appreciate it. But she is supposed to be a closer um, version of, I want to say her name's Glinda in, and I'm not sure if it's Brazil, but that's who um, I believe this is supposed to actually be, but because they are trying to sell you know, the figure, they called it Scarlet because everyone else, if they saw Glinda, would be like, who or what? Or that's not her name or so. You know, it's kind of odd, but that's the only reason I can think of why they didn't just call her Glinda. But she's supposed to be from the G.I. Joe International Collection. And I believe one of the ninjas we'll show later is also supposed to be um, from the International Collection. So I have one of these here, and then one is most likely opened. And then we will go on to another figure that is kind of seen as a resolute, um, or at least at the time they were calling it a resolute figure, and it is Dreadnought Torch. But again, I think I said it, or maybe I haven't, maybe that was the other video, but uh, just like with Ripper, um, I believe he's in the comic pack, so in my opinion, I would go for the uh, comic pack version of Ripper over, um, or, you know, Torch as well, over um, this single carded figure. And then I guess we'll go on to the Anti-Armor Trooper, Cobra... Um, Bazooka Trooper, which is basically just the trooper slash soldier mold, but you know, they released him with a bazooka and then of course new web gear and then they painted the helmet, so kind of cool, they started making um, new figures out of old quote, old figures, so that's cool and then this is another one that was quite a bit of a controversy at the time and maybe even now and that is Cooper Emperor codenamed Serpentor and the reason why is because everyone wanted um, a version of uh, their original Serpentor and instead we got a more of a um, hybrid I'm gonna say of the Devil's Dues um, Serpentor and um, the old school Serpentor, because I don't believe this is accurate to either one of them, you know, obviously not the 80s one, but I'm not sure if there's any little hints of the 80s version in this compared to the um, cartoon one, and in fact, or not cartoon one, but the Devil's Do one, and in fact, I don't think the Devil's Do guy had these things on him either, so I kind of just updated him and kind of did what they wanted to this one so no real reason to open him and we'll go on to the next video all right